Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for January. So this is for January. It's being recorded in December but this reading is for January. So it may not, if you watch this in December, it's like December what? Today is December 12th? This is for January. So some of you will be like, well that doesn't resonate. Well January hasn't happened yet. So pay attention, this is for January. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I focus on love readings. Happy New Year. This is for Taurus, January 2019. What can they expect? What can they expect for January? January. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what can Taurus expect for January? Oh, liberation. Yay, that's good. That's good. That's freedom from something that was very hurtful. Something has ended that was painful. And it's like the pain is is no longer as it doesn't hurt as much. Something doesn't hurt as much. Ooh, so there's still something that you may be feeling a little empty inside over something. Something has ended and you're feeling liberated and it's not as painful, but it's like you, you still haven't stepped over the finish line. Something, there's something else that needs to happen. Ooh, gee, this is you. Lack of faith, lack of trust. You may not be listening to your inner guide. That doesn't make sense at all. Now, this could also be some sort of divorce on the horizon or breakup or end of a commitment. And that could be what you're, you could be going through some sort of breakup. Or you have gone through some sort of breakup and you just need to finish this phase. Interesting. Something is... I don't know, ending by the looks of things. Something is ending. And it could be a marriage if you're married. It could be a marriage. Or it could be just a commitment. If you've been in a commitment with somebody, there could be a breakup. I guess knees coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Yikes. So there's a lack of justice here oh my goodness January somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for th there's a divorce or a split here for sure end of a contract so somebody could be you know getting served with divorce papers or um, something like that Somebody, um, hasn't been treated fairly because this is unfair treatment. There's been some dishonesty here too. Somebody's been lying been hurtful somebody's been betrayed by hurt by pain there's been a lot of pain so you guys have endured a lot of pain and it's it's like it's time to complete this phase of your life and it just that's what this is it's like somebody is is going through a major completion of something that has been really prominent in their life it's like the death of what they once knew There's absolutely been some sort of injustice, 
or unfair treatment that has caused you to lose faith and trust in another person. And I think there's some sort of somebody's being cut out. Cut out. Could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or Libra. It looks like it's a time to retreat. It's a time to go within. It's a time to um, become aware of what you want your future to hold. It could be the other person. Somebody is deciding that they want to, you know, be by themselves to figure out oh, where they want to go. And figure out, you know, um, to refocus. Somebody is needing to refocus. Now we have this Knight of Cups. Is somebody is wanting growth in the love arena. I'm looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. So I feel like somebody is going through some sort of... I don't know, it looks like there's some sort of uh, completion here, split, in which you may be feeling a little lonely, but this time of loneliness is going to enlighten you and open your heart in a new direction. So, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring happiness. So it's going to allow you to go through a rebirth. It's going to allow you to shine brighter than wherever it is that you've been at. It's going to bring, the, it's going to bring um, happiness and light and sunshine to your life, even though you may not see it that way right now. I really feel like there's some sort of truth that is coming out that hurts in regards to a relationship that is tell you some sort of words that are coming through that are somebody is saying you know I I want more than I want more I want more than this whether it's you or the other person somebody is initiating a break you know a, a split of some sort yes they are and this hasn't been easy I mean this has been a long time coming this 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 uh, split, whatever it is that is have been you know has been on the horizon for a while, and whoever this situation is with, it's like it's been emotionally unfulfilling for quite some time, and now we have uh, a desire for real love, and that's what this is. Somebody is wanting more you know I want I want more I want more than this because wherever they're at there's no passion there's no there's no more spark there's no more fire so I think that in January and I know this is, doesn't sound good so far we're gonna hopefully get I mean hopefully this this changes but it looks as though you may be feeling the need to retreat you may be left to fend for yourself because somebody is deciding, or you may decide to fend for yourself. Somebody is deciding that this is not the right thing. It's not, I can't, I can't lie about how I truly feel anymore, you know? I can't. I think somebody has been dishonest. Somebody has been unable to do the right thing, but it looks as though they've they've come to some sort of conclusion that this has to end. So I think there's an ending here. There's absolutely an ending here because there's there's been just there's been an unbalance, there's been disharmony and there's been a lack of of passion and and a spark. It's like the spark has died in a relationship. And it feels as though, you know, this needs to happen. 
this cut, this break that is happening needs to happen so that you can find your extreme bliss that you deserve, you know? So, there's definitely a feeling of needing to close end a phase that is no longer logical it's not there's no more passion there's no more desire there's no more happiness there and and the only way you're going to find the happiness is to make this cut whatever it is now there could be a third party situation involved you know, you could be dealing with somebody who has involved you in a third party situation. Or you're the one that's in a third party situation. Who knows? But whatever this is, this is saying, let your friends help you. Let your friends help you get through this. Whatever is happening is going to lead to new love. It is, because this is the Ace of Cups, this is the Two of Cups, okay? It is really something to celebrate even though you may not feel like it is. You will receive a gift for allowing this completion to be. Now we have the Queen of Cups, Taurus, and I don't know why I always say that. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is about self-love. It's about loving yourself. It's about nurturing yourself. It's about following your intuition. If you are a male Taurus, you could run into a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that helps you to heal from this situation. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> that could even go for the female, the, the Taurus female, because we have this one here. You could have a water sign that comes in to, you know, help you to heal from this unfair situation that you have been involved in. And it is, it's... You know, life isn't fair. So I feel like there's a... There's a need to go within... And heal during January. It's, you need to heal from a situation that has really hurt you. So yeah, I think that... And you, you could have a Virgo as well. You could have a Virgo that helps you to heal. That helps you to become aware. You know? So we have a Virgo player and we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for sure here. We also have Leo. We have Taurus. We have Libra. But somebody is probably walking away and they're going to leave you probably dumbfounded. Or you're, you know, or you're going to walk away and whatever it is, it's painful. It is painful. This is, this is, a, this is a painful re release. It really is. So there's some sort of freedom that is happening. You are being, you are being cut. Either you're cutting somebody out or somebody's cutting you out and that hurts. It hurts. But it's going to lead you towards happiness. Trust me, it is. And you may not see that, but it is going to lead you towards happiness. Because eventually you're going to see the light. And it looks as though somebody's going to come in to help you to heal. That's what it looks like to me. This person could show up out of the blue. And it could start out as friendship. It could start out as friendship and lead to love. Yeah, there's, a, there's the death of something. Something is ending. There absolutely is an ending here. It could happen 
really quickly. It could be a sudden decision that it's over. I want more. Or it's over. It's just, it's done. A sudden, uh, quick decision or something happens instantly that something is done. This isn't, it's not fair with the justice reaper. It's something, it's not fair. And you may feel like it's not fair, but endings bring new beginnings. They, they, things end because it's, a, it's time to release something that no longer serves you. Okay. So that you can find the, the, uh, relationship that you're supposed to be in or whatever this is so we have an ending here a major one this is a major ending you're going through some sort of transformation here's a life transformation okay it's a completion of one long-term phase in your life and this may have happened in december i have to tell you this 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 whatever it is may have happened in december and january is a month of healing it's a month of introspection it's a month of uh dealing with this, the um paperwork you know dealing with the injustice dealing with it january could be the month of dealing with this death this ending whatever it is and somebody it's like somebody is is seeing the pain that you're going through and they are wanting to support you emotionally so i think that you have some emotional support here from somebody and it could turn into love you're being called to be optimistic to look at things from a new perspective to be logical and to Not really be so guarded. Let somebody help you. Don't be so harsh to push people away. Because I feel like you may be, you may feel like you, you don't trust anybody at this time. You may feel like. You know, anybody that comes near you is going to hurt you and you don't dare. I'm just here to tell you that you have somebody here that really has good intentions and wants to help you. But I feel like you're going to be like, don't come near me. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust anybody at this time. You may feel like you just want to be alone. You want to seclude yourself from everybody because you're hurting, you're, you're in pain. So, but so you have somebody here who sees that and they, they want to help you. They do want to help you. So, um, you're afraid of getting taken advantage of. It's like, I don't, I don't dare. I just don't dare. You're afraid to let anybody in. You don't want to, you don't, you don't want to make any reckless decisions, right? It's like, no, I don't, I don't want to. I'm hurting right now. I'm not in the right state of mind to to let anybody help me. You may be thinking that, but I think that you have somebody here that that really wants to communicate with you and help you to heal from this ending that you have gone through or you're going through. And it feels as though you have friends. You do have friends and you know, you may feel like you don't, but you do. So let your friends help you. Um Whatever is happening is going to it's going to stabilize you. And I know that's hard to fathom, but it is going to stabilize you. It's going to bring you a bigger, better opportunity. Look how big that pentacle is. It's going to bring you a bigger better opportunity it is it's a big one so this has to this this death has to happen this ending has to happen so that you can receive the better opportunity that's all there is to it so 
we have a we have a, a major completion here of one phase, one cycle in your life that is that is ending. Could be divorce. It could be a split. It could be uh, somebody just leaving your life for good. It could be you know somebody is is leaving your life for good, and it's painful. This could have happened in December and January is the month of really reeling from the pain. And now, you know, you're reluctant to, you know, you've lost your ambition, you've lost your drive. It's like you have no desire to even do anything. Somebody sees that you're... upset and they want to help you you know let your friends help you let your friends help you whatever this is i don't know what it is but it looks like your your some your fire ha is be, has been put out for a minute and somebody's coming to help you relight it um but you're probably just not willing to come outside of your comfort zone right it's like you just want to protect yourself at this point it's like no I just need to protect myself from any more hurt you're going through some mental conflict right now in January you are you are not gonna pretty it up because you're releasing something that you thought was stable something is absolutely being released that you have held on to for some time it's it's leaving you. It's not happening. It's done. It's it's being let go. And it looks as I mean it could be have to do with a father. It could have to do with a man in your life that was a husband. You know, it could have to do with a husband. Could have to do with um, somebody that really took care of you. Whoever this person is, we have. Um, somebody that we have a new beginning because death is, is ending spring a new beginning so there could be the end of one relationship that you release that brings in another one okay this is a person that could is very protective very wise very um, logical very focused uh, very family oriented. It looks as though we have somebody coming in to help repair the foundation, your foundation, your inner foundation that has been cracked. It's like we have somebody coming in to help. There's absolutely no doubt. They see that you have been hurt, that you are hurting, that you are in pain, and that you are pushing everybody away. And this person is coming in to. Well, this person is going to do whatever it takes to protect you, to help you, to help you to release and come outside of your, your mental turmoil. So we have somebody that is going through some sort of split. It's painful. It hurts. I think the split could happen anywhere from now, it's December 12th, until, you know, any time in January. And it leaves you emotional. It leaves you feeling emotional and closed off and perhaps a little bitter. Uh, definitely afraid to let anybody in at this time. But this person sees that you need some help and they're here to, you know, give you the support that you need so I think that you have a supporter here that is going to come in as a friend and possibly you know this turn into love okay it definitely could turn into love so you know that's what it looks like to me I feel like there's some sort of uh, unfair uh, unfair uh, decision and, and you may feel like it's unfair and it's unfair to you but is it unfair to the other person you know you everybody has to do what they have to do so even though it's unfair to you 
maybe it's what they had to do. They had to do it. This person had to do what was right for them. It wasn't an easy decision for them, just saying. I can see that it wasn't this person that has been thinking about, because somebody's been thinking about leaving for a while. They've been thinking about this ending, and they've been wanting to leave for a while. They had to do it for their own highest good. So and this is why I see you need to look at things from a new perspective. And this person is going to help you to understand that th it was time for this person to go. It was time for this person to um, expand their horizons. It was. So this, you may feel like it's unjustified, but it really is a time to celebrate because now you have an opportunity for something more happy and more abundant than a bigger, better opportunity. And I know that's hard to understand. It's hard to see that that is what this is leading to, but it is. So we have an ending that is leading you in a new direction towards something better. It's an actual release. It's like a... A goodbye, it is, it is a goodbye. It's a hurtful goodbye. But I think that you will come to terms with why this happened and you will realize when your happiness comes because extreme happiness and healing and rebirth is coming. And I do believe that you have a new opportunity with somebody that is going to come in to, you know, befriend you and it could possibly turn into love. Now, wherever it is that you have been hanging on to, there was no passion left. There was no more desire there. Maybe, and even if you had some, at least one person had no more desire, no more desire to, to keep going. It was time to go. So you're being called to be happy, and I know that's easier said than done, this had to die so that you could have the growth, the expansion, the happiness that you deserve. So I feel like there's definitely a big, big ending here. It's a painful ending, but it is leading you towards a better, bigger, happier, um, new beginning. Now, we have Scorpio and we have an Aries, so I'm not sure, or a Leo. There's definitely an ending that brings in somebody that is going to really protect you and make you really happy. If you are the Taurus man, this could be you protecting or taking the lead to protect whoever this, this other person is. We do have a few queens here. So there's definitely a man that is going to be taken. This is a man. This is not a female. Okay, this is a masculine. This is a man that is coming in to really take charge and bring order to a situation. He's going to do whatever he can to protect this queen. So we have a man that is going to protect a queen. Whether you're the Taurus man, you're going to protect a woman or you're going to, you know, whatever. Or there's a, or you're the woman and this man is coming in to protect you. There is a man here that is coming in to take, the, take charge of this situation. To help you to heal. This is a card of healing. I'm telling you what, there's somebody that is coming in to help you heal if you are the Taurus woman. If you are the Taurus man, this could be you helping a woman heal. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. This is what this is. Somebody's coming in to support. To support. This is exactly what this is. Support is arriving, Taurus. I think it's an Aries or a, could be an Aries or a Scorpio or a Virgo because Virgo's under there. I don't think it's another Taurus. It could be. I don't think it's a Libra. I think the Libra is the, I mean, this is unfair. It's unfair, so I'm not sure. Um, it could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
but somebody is walking away and it really, really hurts. Or they have walked away and now somebody is coming in to help. So I think January is a month of healing because something is ending. And you're going through a transformation that is painful. It's a painful transformation. But rest assured that support is coming to help you. And it could lead to love. This is a new romance, a new relationship, love. This ending is going to bring you a new love. Okay? This ending, this death is going to bring you a new love. Whatever it is that is being released is going to bring you a new love. Trust me, it is. And whoever they're bringing in is the king of all kings. I mean the king of all kings. Embrace it. If you are the Taurus man, this is this is you. And somebody is going to see your worth. Trust me, it's going to be this one right here. If you are the Taurus man, you have you have a woman that is going to come in to help you heal a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So if you're the Taurus man, you have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's going to come in. She's a healer as well. Going to help you to heal. If you are the Taurus woman, you have an Aries or a Scorpio or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is going to help you to heal. So that's what I have for January, but it's a month of healing. It's a month of release and a month and it's a month of perhaps starting a new journey with someone else that you didn't expect. And it happens fast, it does. I think that the connection, you know, the the new, you know, spark that starts flying with this new person is is quite unexpected, but it leads to love. So yeah, I think that we have a a new beginning here that can't be avoided. Good luck. I'm going to do more Januarys. This is just one. So yeah, is there somebody new coming in? Yeah, there is. But they're gonna there's pain that's associated with this arrival. Not gonna pretend that there's not. Life is not a fairy tale. Good luck.